Welcome to this Adobe XD plugin tutorial. Today we are going to check out the Google Sheets plugin. Link to the project files to follow this tutorial is in the description. Download them to follow this tutorial. If you haven't seen the previous video on installing and managing plugins, click on the card that pops up right now. Install the Google Sheets plugin by going to the Add-ons tab under the Home tab. Scroll down and you can find the plugin listed there. Click on the Download button, this will open up the plugins window and install the plugin. Or you can directly search and install it directly from the plugins window. Now open the sample project file. I have added two examples to cover two use cases. Let's move to the first example. There is a card with an ellipse for a photograph, named photo, a name text layer named name, and a designation text layer named the same. We have to fill out these three variables for any number of people. Open Google Sheets and create a sheet with two columns, names similar to the layer names given in the XD design. This is to make the process much easier. For the photos, you can paste any photo link in the cell. Now click on the share button to the top right. This brings up the sharing options and select link sharing, and copy the link. Go back to Adobe XD. Click and drag to select all the layers in the card, and press on the repeat grid button. Drag the repeat grid slider to create 6 cards. Click on any card to select the grid, go to the hamburger menu, select plugins, and click on Google Sheets. Select paste public link option. This opens up the plugin and guides us through the tutorial. We can skip that for now. The plugin shows a field to paste the public link of the sheet. Right click and select paste. Press continue. Now we have to map XD elements to the sheet content. Since we have used the same names on both XD and the sheets, it will automatically match up. Else you can map the columns as you like. Click on apply, and instantaneously all the mapped fields are filled according to the sheet. You can even make changes in the sheets, and that changes can be updated in the design too. For doing that replace any cell with new content in the sheets. Here I am going to change the user image. I could find the link to a new photo, and replace it in the photos column. After that go to Adobe XD, select the grid, go to Google Sheets plugin, and select refresh content. Now the design will be updated with the latest data from the sheets. Now let's move on to the second example, where we load a CSV file. This is a pricing page for a website with a list of features for three plans, basic, professional and business. We have a Google Sheet with all the contents, preferably with the same column names as the layer names in the design. Instead of sharing a public link, we can download it as a CSV file. Save it locally and we can load it into the design. Go to Adobe XD, select the four text layers that you want to fill text. Make it into a repeat grid and drag it down. 
select the grid, go to Google Sheets plugin, and select Load CSV. Click on Select a CSV file and open the file. Now we can map the layers to the column names in the CSV, and press Apply. This will load all the contents from that CSV file onto Adobe XD. Google Sheets plugin is a really powerful tool and can make your design process much easier. It is easier for our clients to give us content on an Excel sheet or a Google Sheet. Thanks for watching. More tutorials and plugin videos are coming, so subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Like and comment your thoughts on the video.